Alaga. Oh, Bianca Del Rio. Oh, I don't like her. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I think she's she's great. She does her job. She does it well. I just don't like when she, you know, she tells a whole club full of people that I need to take whatever's left of my dick and shove it in my mouth. Oh, my God. Did she say that? Yeah, she sure did. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, and it's, it's just disgusting. So I'm, wow. just, I'm just completely disgusted that she would think that it's okay to do that. But that's what happens when people win this competition or when they do very well and they're favored. It goes to their head and they get this ego that they feel like they can just shit on everyone. Mm. So that's something that we never handled that beef. Um, but other than that, as an artist, I respect her. I think she, she does her thing. She's got a show on Netflix now. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm proud mm. as an LGBT artist. Sure. Work. Um, however, she's made some mistakes and it, and it sort of stays with me because I feel like I can't trust her um, as a friend, you know, and that stinks. But good luck. All right. <laughs> that, wow, I had never heard that before. Oh, that there's is, a video. You should Google it. It's that like is you. a lot. Yeah, it was rude. And it was when I um, spoke out about the female or female game. A lot of the queens came for me, you they know? They came for you hard. Hard. And I'm like, why are you coming for me? I thought we were cool. Mm. So, oh, you're just really jelly, peanut butter and jelly, you know? Oh. And now it's being revealed because now you have an opportunity to jump the bandwagon of hatred. So now I see your true colors. And now I'm not going to fuck with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I work. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's like actions speak louder than words. You can be fake to me in person, but when I watch what you do and you come for me in a situation where you have no right to talk on it um, and try to embarrass me and, and try to encourage people to hate me, and especially talking about my genitalia, I'm trans, like, why would you do that? You That's know, not cute. it's not cute. Mm. Um, but if that would have never happened, that would have been like, okay, like her sure. biggest fan. No, no, it's like, <laughs> you know, I, I think everyone has their niche and she's a comedian, I get it. But um, there's times that you ha you should be respectful, and um, I think in the in the drag community there's a lack of respect for trans people. Mm -hmm. I think um, that needs to be spoken about, and, and that needs to be healed because we do have a lot in common. And um, I I wish for us to be friends, but whatever. Mm. I have to be careful. You know, not everyone's your friend in this business. You've learned that, sweetie. Yes, I have. All right, look at her. I think this may be another one you don't like. Oh, Lord, oh, have mercy. Oh, God. Um, now. Listen, I wish her well. Okay. We, we, we used to be friends. Something's changed lately. I don't know what's going on with her, but um, I feel like she's sort of um, not representing herself in the, in the best way. And, and I just, I don't know. That's, it is what okay. it is. All right. like, I mean, you know, I don't want to go into details because we used to be friends. I actually, I lived in Chicago years ago. I filmed a reality show back then and she was there for me. You know, I was going through a really hard time. It was before she was on Drag Race and I thought we had a really tight bond. But like I said, television will make you believe that you are, you know, the end all be all. And sometimes that gets in the way of friendships. Um, and that's what I feel like happened, you know? And, and we actually had a gig together uh, New, Year's New Year's. Eve. Yeah. And, um, you know, my team, you know, they let me know that she had some words to say behind my back. And, and I sort of went on, on a Twitter rant about that. Um, I should have texted her directly. But, um, but yeah, like, I, I just, for me, I need to stop getting sucked into this stuff. That's mm. really how, what I've decided to do. And maybe in the future, it, when she comes back to, to ground, you know, I hope we can still be friends. But I think that um, it's a respect. There's a boundary there that she crosses and she doesn't just do it with me, she does it with everyone else. And I think for someone who wants to critique someone like Pheromone to say, oh, Pheromone's an Instagram girl, it's like, well, Gia, look at you now. You're an Instagram girl. So it's like, you know, you, it's like I see things like that and I'm just like, I don't even to stay away because mm. maybe she's going through things, maybe she's going through changes. Whatever it is, it's just like, she's not my friend, I guess. So, hmm. Mm, I we'll still wish her well. As a trans person, it's hard. Yeah. Just regardless. But I, I have to, like, back away, you know, because I have my own dreams and I can't keep getting sucked into this drama because maybe that's what some people want, you mm -hmm. know? I don't know. So, mm -hmm.